tomorrow these potatoes will be six weeks old since I planted the seed potatoes and they are very very big and I know from planting potatoes in the past that these potatoes will get about four to five feet tall and then they're going to start spreading out and taking up the aisle way so I'm going to do what I should have done two weeks ago and that is I'm going to put some mini A-frames in here with some twine to help hold up the potatoes so I have room to walk in the aisleway here. So I'll do it for the whole box here. I need 13 mini A-frames and I'll just show you how I do this so that I can help support the potatoes and have room to work in the garden. Because I don't like putting untreated wood in the ground, all of my st so-called sticks for my grow box are the PVC. And so that'll last pretty much indefinitely. And it does two things for me. It, uh, these plants are so big I can't see the back side here. Here it is. Uh, the PVC stakes support the grow box so it doesn't bulge and it also allows me a place to put in this A-frame. There we go. So it's uh, less work and less cost and a great benefit. So something you might consider. By the way the design of this using PVC for the grow boxes is in the Midlanda Gardening Course book. I highly recommend that book. You know that I call that my gardening bible. I think it's really the best book written on gardening. I do have about three cases of Midlanda Gardening Course books left. If you order those books through LDSPrepperStore.com I will personally sign those books for you before I send them off to you. So I've got about three boxes that I'm glad to do that with. If I can get some more books I will be glad to continue doing that as just kind of a thank you for your support. And at the same time we can ship micro nutrients to you. The LDS Prepper Premium Micronutrients. Put them all in the same package. So basically you're getting the shipping on the book free. Or however you look at it, the shipping on the micronutrients free. So if you're interested in doing that, just head over to my store. I appreciate the support. Helps me with the, the cost and time in producing all these videos. And you get a great resource. Okay, so that's quick and easy. How to make this is also in the Midlighter Gardening Course book. And I have a video that I, where I show you how I made these. I will link to that video at the end of this video. So those are up. I've got my trusty Baylor twine. This is actually off the roll that I purchased about nine years ago when I was in Texas. So this stuff really lasts a long time. I rarely ever throw it out. I usually just clean it and repurpose it. I'm going to go ahead and tie on the twine. And I think I'll start down well, I'll start down there so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to take off this jacket because it is warm here in the greenhouse. It's 7 o'clock in the evening and it's still quite warm. It's cold and windy outside today. But uh, one of the advantages of being in a greenhouse is that doesn't make any difference in here. And I think one of the big advantages in growing in the greenhouse is the warm constant temperature that we get from being in the greenhouse. I think there's a big advantage in doing that. Uh, we've noticed that in our seedlings that when we uh, plant them in the house where we have a constant more or less temperature in the house uh, that the seedlings grow much larger much faster. Alright so let's just unwind this and then what I'm all I'm going to do here is just going to do a a quick clove hitch 
just putting this on the top right corner and then I'm just going around each corner here just like this and I'm going to try to support the plants as I go this is why it's easier to do it before they get this big and then I'm just doing a clove hitch around each one of these posts and as I get closer down the other end you'll be able to see uh, what a clove hitch is uh, being a scout master for 19 years I really enjoy using my knots there we go I think I'll just put this right on that corner so I'm not trying to make anything really tight I just want to give it some support because these plants will be up here this tall uh, very quickly and I just want to give them a little bit of support on this side on the other side the greenhouse wall will give them the support that they need there we go but over on this side uh, they're just going to want to flop over into the into the aisle way so let me get this tied up here I'm going to speed up the film here now so this doesn't get too boring for you and I'll slow it back down when I get down to the other end All right, the thing I like about a clove hitch is that I can adjust the tension anywhere along this line and it's very easy to get undone. A definition from an old scout master is a good knot is, is a knot that will hold and that will come undone when, you, when you're done with it. So I'm just going to go around this pipe here. I just go over the top of the twine, bring it around and then I've got this loop here. I'm just going to go through that loop. And pull that snug. So that's just going to be right there. That's all I need to do. I'm done now with the entire row of support. And this will hold up the potato plants really well. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this extra twine again I don't like cutting up things in smaller pieces because then you when you need a bigger piece it's already cut so I'm going to just make it small and tidy it up so it is ready to be used full length this looks like it's about you know 35 40 feet long and this is probably been tied up like this for a year or two and there we go it's all ready to go so when you grow plants following the six laws of plant growth you can expect what some people would consider Franken plants because they're so big they produce so much fruit they taste so amazing they have such a nutrient density to them that you just gotta expect to get prepared for these really big plentiful plants. If I would have put up the support two, three weeks ago on the dark red Norlands, like I'm doing here on the Chieftains, then I would have been much uh, better prepared. And being prepared is doing things before you need to do them. So anyway, I'm now ready to let these plants grow. As I come in here and check them in the mornings, I will just snug them underneath the twine and these short plants that are coming out right now will obviously be long enough and just stay right inside there and that will work out just great and we are good to go so there you have it how to support your franken plants when they get big and plentiful and you want to keep the aisles clean Again, I'll have the links down below to my other video on how to make the mini A-frames and also to the LDS Prepper store where, where you can get the Midlight Gardening Course book and the LDS Prepper Premium Micronutrient Mix. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. Doing things in advance makes it much easier when the time comes that you need it, that it's already in place. So don't do what I did and wait too long on your potatoes or other plants 
Get it in early, like down here, and you'll be glad that you did.